What's up, YouTube? It's Frank. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, basically, I was having high nitrite levels with my tank, man. There's a new established tank. It's still getting cycled at the moment. So, it's been up for about a week. I was having high nitrite levels, and that's what I think it was. I think that's the reason why. So, the way I lowered my nitrite levels overnight was basically I have two other tanks. And... I basically just, those tanks have been established for about three months now. They have everything you need. I mean, I tested the water, no nitrite at all, pH balance on point, no sick fish. So basically what I did was take the filter media out of that tank and didn't rinse it off or nothing. I knew I wanted, wanted just like that. So I took the filter media out of there, just put it in this filter right here. Basically what that does, because that tank has all the bacteria, the essential bacteria you need to kill all that nitrite, to get all that stuff out of the water, it, that one's already cycled and everything. Put it in this filter, lowered my levels overnight. That's what worked for me, man. And I was really worried about it, but I can see the levels going down already, so it's, it's getting pretty, it's good. And this is basically what's been going on over here. I got the divider. It's basically a light diffuser I got from Home Depot for Frank the Peacock Bass, currently under investigation for murder. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, he's still, I'm still interrogating him. Look at him. He's looking good, though. He's getting, getting a little red on his tail. Got my new little shovel nose catfish down here. He's looking good. I don't know what I should name him yet. Let me, give me some ideas, people, man. Help me out. And this is my arowana. Look at him go. I'm thinking about naming him Bullet. I had a friend in prison named Bullet. We named him that because he was fast. I'm thinking about Bullet, man. Any ideas, let me know. But yeah, that's basically what I did to lower my nitrite levels overnight, man. I, I recommend if you're having problems like that, you have a new tank, not cycled yet, still being cycled, and you're trying to help the process, that's a good way to do it. Just make sure your other tank, there's no sick fish, nothing like that. Check the other tank, test it, see how the nitrite levels are. No nitrite is good. So yeah, Check, let me show you my other tanks. So I got two more other tanks. Yeah, it's not enough, I know. But yeah, this is my community tank. Check it out. This is where all the good fish go. You gotta be on good behavior to get in this tank. And... This is where I took the filter media out. It's been about, it's been running for about three months already. It's my black ghost. That's my other black ghost over here. Let me see if he comes to the window. Nah. No, there he goes. Willie. That's Alex. Gerthamis. Where's Gerthamis? There he goes back there. He's getting big. That's my boy back there, Gerthamis. The one and only. Don't y'all be stealing my names now, man. I had to, these are custom names. I got them copyrighted too. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's Gerthamus right there, man. He's, I love that little boy. That's, that's one of my first fish. And uh, I got the glowfish in there. They're my first fish too. You know, I got those for Adam. Those are Adams and my girlfriends. Got the algae eaters back there. My red tail shark got big. The new addition, the blue garami. Those are pretty cool. They're good community fish. Some of them I heard can be aggressive if they're like males. Males are pretty aggressive, but these are these are good. I mean, they look they just eat all the damn food, which is a good thing, but then it could be a bad thing also. So this is my good tank, man. You gotta be on good behavior to make it here. This is like the trustee camp. You know? <laughs> and so I had to take some fish out. They got G4, they're trying to fight and doing do gang initiations in there. So I had to send them to the gladiator tank. This is my gladiator tank. This is where all the bad fish go. This is where all the aggravated murders are and all that. <laughs> You're gonna fight in this tank. So I got my red tail sharks, I got my pictus catfish. They get along pretty good. I mean, they're all about that life. They're, they're <laughs> so that, I mean, they, they don't really mess with each other. I got the zebra fish in there. I mean, they're not gonna mess with them. They're too fast, so. Yeah, they're good, but one did come up missing. I'll tell you that. I think that's the guy right there. My peacock eel. His name's Slim. 
I took him out of the community tent because Gertomis was getting a little nervous around him. So yeah, I had to take him out. Got the zebra fish in there, man. They're pretty cool. I like them. But yeah, they're just getting in the way in the other tank. But yeah, they like it in here. I'm pretty sure they like it better in the other tank, but I mean, they're good in here. I want to get some blue tetras for the community tank. Uh, I like how they look when they school. But yeah, that's my gladiator tank, man. This is where all the this is where all the all the bad fish go. All the aggressive fish. I'm gonna take the glow rocks out. I know. I put those on the bottom, and then I put the black rocks on top. I wanted to do black, but they all got mixed together. So yeah. But yeah, this is the community tank. This is where I took the filter media out of. This tank been running for about three months. pH balance perfect. No nitrite. The water's kind of softish, hard. I mean, I'm in Houston, so I mean the area I'm in, we don't get soft water out of the tank, out of the tap. It's it's very hard. So yeah, got to kind of do a little magic to make it soft again. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that's my uh, that's my tank, man. Any tips? Any questions, anything, man, let me know. That's how I made my... If you want to know how I made that filter, man, let me know. I got a video on it. Check it out. My wave pump. Any uh, suggestions on the names for my fish? My new shovel nose catfish. Or the arowana. I'm thinking about bullet for him. Or Lorenzo. Those Frank the Peacock Bass signing out, checking out. But yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Later.